Hi everyone, welcome back to my video at Alexandria's Legal Library and today we're gonna crush the LSAT. So I'm gonna take you through a three-day vlog journey of what I would do studying for the LSAT as well as some serious tips that will help you if you are planning on studying for the LSAT and going to law school. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. So I'm going to insert a clip right here of what my three-day planner is going to look like for the rest of the days that you will be joining me on this vlog. So today is June 8th, Wednesday, and we are going to be focusing on strengthening and weakening questions as a weak area that I need to level up in so that I can get to that level of mastery. So we're going to be working on that and I'm going to show you what I use for my prep and I use a couple of things. So for strengthening and weakening sections, I'm going to use my Blueprint prep course and watch the lecture videos on there. However, I'm also going to work on drilling for reading comprehension as well as logic games because even though you get better at a section, you still want to work on it seldomly because to stay at that mastery level or to get to that mastery level that I want to achieve, I have to drill these sections every day. So I try to drill at least one logical reasoning section, one reading comprehension section, and one logic game each and every day. Even if I don't get to one each and every day, I'm still doing it a couple times a week. So tomorrow, Thursday, June 9th, I'm going to take a full length practice test and I haven't taken one since April. And that was my diagnostic test that I took from my blueprint prep course that started in April. So. It is very important that you take practice tests to gauge your learning and where you're developing new skills. So this is going to be a prep test that I've taken where I've prepped for a long, long time. So I'm excited about that and I'll be taking prep test 81, which is the June LSAT from 2017. And then Friday, June 10th, I'm going to do a complete day of review. And this review will consist of me watching videos and seeing how to understand where I went wrong on questions if I got a lot of questions wrong. And I do want to be optimistic, but at the same time, I know that I'm not at that mastery level for all subject areas that is on the LSAT. So I'm going to show you what blind review is and how do I do it. So let's get into this video and let's crush this LSAT. So I'm back. I have just finished both of my lectures that I watched about strengthening and weakening videos. It took a lot of time. It is now currently 5 p.m. and I started studying earlier this morning. However, I did have to take a break and rejuvenate myself because I was getting burnt out. And we know that when you're studying and you're burnt out, you're not going to learn anything that you're trying to retain. So after I came back and started back studying, I did see an improvement in my understanding of strengthening and weakening questions. So I do plan to touch base on that later on. However, I'm going to now jump into logic games and do a reading comprehension passage later on tonight because I'm going to have to go to a law school application preparation meeting essentially with this mentorship program I'm in and I'll insert some clips of me in that meeting so you can see what I'm doing during that time as well. So I'll be back in the next clip. Okay, y'all. 
so you guys should have saw the previous clip before this one where I put my score of what I received on the logic games that I did. So I did three logic games and I'm so happy about my score because I got 13 questions right out of 16. So I am definitely improving because I did these three problems timed. So I haven't did a time problem set in I don't know how long, probably the last time I did a time section for LG was my last practice test, which was in April. So just to know that I'm doing very well in LG now when it was my weakest section starting off, I am over the moon for that. So all I gotta say is consistency is key when you're prepping for the LSAT because you will have improvement and logic games is the most easiest section where you can improve because it is very learnable and you can learn the tips and tricks of how to go about solving these problems. So if you have any questions about how I go about doing my logic game problem sets, please let me know and I'll be happy to share those with you. So now y'all, it's time for me to head on and start doing my reading comprehension section. This is probably my worst section of all after LR and I just do not like it at all. Those passages are too long, the material isn't necessarily interesting, and I just start to think about other things while I'm doing reading comprehension like how I won't have to be reading reading comprehension passages in the next couple of months. So. I need to just get my head in the game and buckle down. So today with reading comprehension, I'm going to try out some new things. I'm going to try out this power score view stamp type of thing that I saw in one of the power score Bibles. And I will insert it into what it looks like right here. So I'm going to use this method and see if it helps me get more questions right. However, if it isn't, I'm going to have to figure out another way of how to retain the information that is needed for me to get these questions right and to understand what the author's main point is in the reading comprehension passage. So wish me luck and I'll be back with my results. <laughs> just finished reading a chapter in my LSAT trainer book by Mike Kim and I do feel a lot better about my reading comprehension scores that I will hopefully score higher on tomorrow with my practice test. However, I do have another chapter that I do need to read but I'm not going to get to it tonight because burnout is real. It's about almost 11 p.m. and I don't want to stress out tonight when I know that I have to take a full length practice test tomorrow. So we're going to be up early at 10 a.m. to crank out this test and I can't wait to take you along for the ride. But before I sign out tonight on my first day of the vlog, I want you all to remember that burnout is real. Right now what I'm experiencing is very much so fatigue from studying the entire day even though I took short breaks in between all the knowledge and the things that you're learning will make you tired from doing it the whole entire day so make sure that you are taking breaks and also giving yourself enough time to practice for the LSAT to get the desired score that you want because of the fact that you are going to be tired if you're trying to cram it all in in a couple of months. So give yourself time and remember to breathe and you will get there. You will reach the goals that you want to have. And good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to day two of the vlog. Today, as you know, is 
prep test day. So we're going to take prep test 81 from the June 2017 LSAT. And I'm as ready as I'll ever be for this practice test. However, I'm also going to show you a live reaction to my score that I get. Hopefully it's a good score, but you guys just stay tuned to see what I get. sat practice test for today and as you can tell i'm a little low energy so i did not score what i wanted to score i'll insert my score right here and i'm very disappointed because lr and reading comp is really kicking my butt so reading comprehension as well as logical reasoning really has been affecting my score a lot in this past practice test however i do see improvement from my last practice test that i've taken in april regarding the logic games aspect of it because i only got about seven questions wrong for this logic game section and that is very very good compared to what i received on my last diagnostic so even though i am at a very low score right now there is improvement in my score on certain sections however i still need to get to that level of mastery for the other sections such as reading comprehension and logical reasoning i know that this lsat journey isn't what you expected through this vlog you probably expected for me to get a very high score and i know that is what most youtubers share however i want to be real and show you where people start off from i didn't start off from a high score i started off for a very low score and i'm working towards a very high score so even though my score was very low in my opinion and not where i wanted to be today does not mean that i'm not putting in the work and that doesn't mean that you're not putting in the work if you have had low practice test scores just know that these practice tests are only giving you an example of what you could possibly score. However, if you're giving yourself enough time to practice and accommodate for your lacking in the knowledge of how to take this LSAT test, then you will reach the score that you wanna reach or around that score. So don't give up because I'm not giving up. I'm gonna keep pushing forward because I know what I want and I know the goals that I have set for myself and I plan to achieve those goals. So even though i might be seeming in low energy just know that i'm staying very positive and i'm gonna keep spewing positive energy out there because i do want to see improvement in my score so just know that it takes time and you just got to take it day by day so tomorrow in the vlog i'm going to show you how i blind review i have not looked at correct answer choices that i have received on the wrong ones so i'm going to be showing you how i review wrong answers by looking at the problem itself and looking at my answer choice that I've selected and choosing another one and seeing if I can get it correct without having time conditions. So see you tomorrow and remember, keep your head up along this journey because there will be some tough and trying times. It's day three of the vlog, everyone, and it is currently 9 p.m. I've taken the morning hours of today to just relax and de-stress after the epic fail that was the practice test I took yesterday. However, we're back at it, and as promised, we are going to review this practice test. Even though I scored really low on the practice test yesterday, I'm gonna see if my level of knowledge for the logical reasoning section as well as the reading comprehension section is actually there. However, I'm not able to perform at that level under time conditions. So as I do the blind review and I take you through that process, I'm gonna show you how I blind review. And the way that I blind review is that 
I look at the questions that I got wrong. However, I do not look at the correct answer choice. So as I am going through, I'm looking at my wrong answer choice and realizing it's wrong. Or if I don't realize it's wrong, I will use supplemental materials afterwards if I still get the question wrong again to see and figure out what is the true correct answer and how they get to that true correct answer. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And if you have any questions about how I blind review, please put them down in the comments below and let's get into this blind review. games as well as the logical reasoning section but I have not completed the reading comprehension section it's midnight here right now so I don't think I'm gonna get to it tonight so I'm probably gonna do it another day however I had magnificent increases in the logic game section I scored a minus three and in the logical reasoning section I scored a minus seven and if you saw in the previous clips, when I inserted my test scores, I received a minus 17 on the logical reasoning section when I was on time conditions. So there's definitely a need to bridge that gap because I had a 10 point increase just by these two sections alone by just essentially blind reviewing and see what I need to complete to get a better score. Sometimes it's not about whether or not you understand the material. It sometimes solely relies on whether or not you can perform under the time conditions. So it's important to not stress yourself out about these time conditions because of the fact that when you are under pressure and your anxiety is increasing, you're not gonna perform as well. So try to calm yourself down and try to breathe and think about what is the task at hand that you need to complete to get the questions correct. And as soon as I did that during my blind review process, my score increased phenomenally. I went from a 148 test score to a 157 right now just by blind reviewing two sections alone. As soon as I do the reading comprehension section, I guarantee that I will at least be at a 160 throughout this journey. After I do the blind review process for the reading comprehension section, I can guarantee that I will receive at least probably a 160 on my practice test for the blind review method. So now it's time for me to work on increasing my score under time conditions because that's a significant increase and that needs to be looked at more attentively. So with that being said, I want you all to continue to press forward and do not give up just because your time practice test scores are not where you wanna be. Take a blind review test after you take a practice test on time conditions and you will see that you are actually learning the material and this would be a really good part for you to gauge your level of understanding. So blind reviewing is very, very imperative. So that's the video guys. Thanks for joining me throughout my three day journey through studying for the LSAT. And if you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment that down below, smash that like button in the face, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, bye-bye.